Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make explosions using pyro. In this empty project, let's create a small sphere. I'm going to set the radius to 20. And let's go and add not a pyro emitter, but a pyro fuel. Now, when I do this, uh, I'm not setting initial temperatures or densities. I'm just setting the fuel. And the fuel, when it combusts, it's going to create the appropriate temperatures and densities based on the settings. Now, if I press play, actually nothing is going to happen because there is no temperature to ignite the fuel. So let's rewind and uh, let's press Control or Command D to go to the simulation pyro settings. And uh, if you scroll down here, at some point you'll see the fuel combustion and it has an ignition temperature of 10. So we need 10 units of temperature to ignite the fuel. But there's a small little secret here. If you set this ignition temperature to minus one, you make the fuel self ignite. So let's go and rewind, press play, and you'll see that it ignites and then it keeps burning. The reason it keeps burning is that the type of fuel we've set is continuous. This is not what we want. We want to use a method called contingent. And this creates an initial quantity of fuel that if it burns, it just runs out. So how fast it burns is controlled by the burning rate. I'm going to set this to 100. And the initial contingent, I'm going to set it to 10 units of fuel. Now, just to make my explosion a bit better, I'm going to go back to my settings, go to the scene, and just set my gravity to minus 100 so I don't get so much buoyancy. Let's go and rewind and press play, and you will see that we're getting something akin of an explosion, but it's not very powerful. Let's go back to the pyro settings, and what we need to do is control the pressure per fuel, which is part of the fuel combustion settings. And I'm going to set this to 100. So we're creating more pressure when the fuel burns. So rewind, press play, and now you have an explosion. All you have to do from this point onwards is fine tune the amount of fuel you have. For example, you can set this to two and the explosion is not going to continue further on because as the fuel is burning, the fuel that hasn't been burnt is being advected and moved outwards and it's going to continuously burn. So rewind, press play, and now we have this explosion and you can fine tune it using the other settings. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.